Lindsay Keys White. I'm in a full-time private practice anesthesiologist. I've been in practice since 2013. And uh, I trained at UT Southwestern for residency and also did a critical care fellowship at UT Houston before coming back to Dallas to join a um, private practice group. So an anesthesiologist is a physician who is uh, trained and specialized in the field of anesthesiology. We are um, one of the prime sources in the operating room to make sure that surgical cases can be performed uh, safely under anesthesia or um, what we would consider a loss of awareness or unconsciousness. Um, and we also maintain that state of unconsciousness and allow surgeons to operate. We allow GI procedures to be done like colonoscopies or endoscopies, or if you're having a procedure with interventional radiology, like say um, a embolization for um, fibroids or having to have catheters placed or um, procedures done along your spine, we help keep patients asleep and safe. We watch their heart rate, their blood pressure, their oxygen levels, um, and make sure that we are able to bring them back from that state of unconsciousness, free from pain, and hopefully having minimal nausea and vomiting as well. It depends, I would think, if you're in academics or private practice. I am in private practice, and here in Dallas, uh, the salaries typically range from about starting at about 250000 going upwards to maybe four hundred to 450000 depending on how much you work. Some groups are eat what you kill, meaning you work a lot, but you get paid for it. Other groups have more of a structure base where they try to um, equilibrate what's paid out for what everything comes to the group. Um, so you really just have to see what market um, is in your area, what that market looks like you know, how it's set up and how aggressive you want to be, whether you join a group or work independently or work with one or two other people and form a small group. Uh, so a typical day for me in private practice probably starts about 7 or 7.30 most mornings. Um, most OR cases start early and you'll work till about 3 or 4. So in private practice, here in Dallas, we typically follow our surgeon. So I do a lot of orthopedic uh, cases, so total knee replacements, hip replacements, um, ACL repairs, knee scopes, shoulder scopes, and we just follow our surgeons and get the cases done. So in a typical day, I may have three or four orthopedic cases. I may have an orthopedic case in the morning and then have to do a urology case in the afternoon. Um, but in each case, I'm in the OR with the patient from start to finish monitoring uh, their heart rate, their blood pressure, their oxygen levels, keeping them safe while the surgery is being done. And then at the end of surgery, wake them up and get them to the recovery room so that the recovery room nurses can take over their care for the, uh, for the patients. And in that day, I may do some nerve blocks, um, which is anesthetizing parts of the body. I may do um, some spinals where we, or epidurals where we give injections into the back to help with pain control. Um, and it's a really hands-on, procedure-based uh, specialty. So lots of use of your hands with intubations, arterial lines, central lines, and uh, nerve blocks. But each day is a new day. Um, we do a full training of medical school, so four years of college, um, four years of med school. A typical anesthesia residency is a standard of four years. Your first year is typically an intern year where you may do a surgical intern year or you can do a medicine intern year. Or some programs like mine have a hybrid program where you're rotating through some medicine, some ICU, some pediatrics um, in preparation for three standard years of anesthesia residency. And then we also have several one-year fellowships that people do after residency such as pediatric anesthesia, cardiothoracic anesthesia, pain management, um, critical care. And a lot of people are also starting to explore um, hospice and palliative care medicine as a, a fellowship as well after anesthesia. Um, so I initially in med school, I really thought I wanted to be um, in obstetrics and I rotated through obstetrics late in third year because everyone says, oh, do the specialty that you think you're interested in toward the end of the year, so you've kind of built up your skills. And I enjoyed uh, being in the operating room, but I didn't enjoy labor and delivery and delivering babies, but 
I did enjoy the camaraderie in the OR. Um, and anesthesia is very fast paced, so we see results instantaneously. Um, but you really have to have a good source of physiology and pharmacology and to be able to use your drugs really quickly. So it fits my personality. Um, I'm very hands-on. Uh, I can be very serious and direct very quickly, but I also know when to scale back. And that's really what a great anesthesiologist does. You know when something is acute and serious, and you also know when things are well and you can kind of scale back and fall back. I kind of say in anesthesia, we're like Kaiser Sose from Usual Suspects. Nobody knows who Kaiser Sose is, but they know he's important. The anesthesiologist is very important in the OR, but nobody should really know what we do because everything is going smoothly. Um, I think you have to have a good support system. I have an amazing husband um, who knows my schedule and has been with me since residency, so he kind of knows the ins and outs. I have a great mother-in-law. I have my dad, my mom, and everybody really just knows that my schedule is variable. Um, I can say I'll be done at three, but if I have an issue in the OR or a case goes longer because we're having problems, I have to stay. Um, so everyone around me is flexible with my schedule, which I deeply appreciate. Um, and I also just know that um, I have to make time. So as soon as I'm home, I'm trying to help with dinner, help with bath time. I try to schedule date nights with my husband where I, he and I can have time just to kind of reconnect. So you have to be intentional with your time. But as an anesthesiologist, we are very pressed on time because we want to start cases on time. We want to end cases on time and we want to make sure things go well. So that kind of carries over into your personal life with trying to schedule and just make sure that you plan out your month or plan out your week ahead of time so you kind of know what to expect, but also be prepared for the unexpected. Um, I think that you should focus on pharmacology and physiology in med school. Um, really hone in on those pathways and just how drugs work because you will use it, maybe not in the detail that we experience it in medical school, but it will definitely stick with you. Um, try to get exposure to anesthesia. That's somewhat hard in med school just because you don't really have an actual um, rotation probably till late in fourth year if you pick that as an elective. So anytime you're in surgery, if you're interested in anesthesia, try to look over the drape and say, hey, what are y'all doing? Maybe can I come in early and see you intubate or see what you do before the surgery starts? Um, if you're on OB, look and see what's going on during the C-section, what's going on when the spinal's being placed or the epidural's being placed. Um, you really have to seek it out in med school. So if you think you have an interest, maybe that first or second year, if you can on a Saturday or a Sunday, just pop in and ask some of the residents, hey, can I see what you're doing on a day or can I see what it looks like when you're on call and what type of cases you're doing to kind of get that knowledge. Probably one of the easiest ways would be um, through email. My professional email is lindsay.white at usap.com. That's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y dot W-H-I-T-E at usap.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram, I'm a book reviewer, but you can find me at D-R-L-I-T-R-X, um, that's for following me. Um, and then just reach out by email and I'll definitely respond back and kind of go from there. My name is uh, Lindsay Keys White. I am Dr. White. I'm a full-time anesthesiologist in private practice in Dallas, Texas, and I love what I do.